Hello, everybody, and welcome to the online course, SOCI 252 Social Problems. My name is Matthew Howell, and I'm going to be your instructor for this summer semester. This video is to show you a few of the things that we're going to be using in this course and kind of show you the layout of the course and get you a little familiarity with it. Okay, so let me just get logged in here. And we'll begin taking a look at what's in here. So we log into Blackboard. We go to our course here. And you'll notice one of the first things you'll notice when you log in here is you've got this My Groups. And you're going to be in PowerPoint Project Group 1. We'll get to that in just a few minutes. The first place you should go um, after you read through all the announcements is you want to go to Start Here. You'll find step one, syllabus, calendar, and more. Step two, get your computer ready for class. And step three, help with Blackboard and technology. Step one, you will want to, you click here to open the syllabus. You'll make, you want to make sure you read through that carefully. It's got all kinds of good information in there. Go to calendar of activities and deadlines. Uh, here you have a downloadable calendar, but here you do have a calendar that's just an item that you can scroll through that has all kinds of uh, information in it. It's got um, readings, assignments, you know, readings, assignments, and due dates uh, for 16 class sessions. Now, important to know, students will need to complete two class sessions each week. Our summer courses are accelerated courses. Uh, we're not allowed to modify these statewide online versions, so students will be responsible for completing one and two in week one, class sessions three and four in week two, five and six in week three, seven and eight in week four, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You notice up here, all weeks begin Monday at midnight and end the following Sunday at 11.59 p.m. EST, except for the last week. If you see down here, these are all highlighted in yellow. Friday, 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 Friday. So Friday, July 31st is the deadline for sessions 15 and 16. And if you see up here, please note that no work will be accepted after Friday, July 31st at 11.59 p.m. EST. This is in order to give me plenty of time to get the grading done um, and get everything turned in and submitted. So um resources there's some good things under here as well this is where you can access the textbook uh, the social problems textbook you also have access to the course rubrics you will definitely want to look through those all the grade these are the actual rubrics that are used for grading the various assignments in this course so you'll definitely want to read through those um, additionally You'll want to read through the group project assignment and the term paper research project. There are some other things down here you can look through. Um, these are the important things, though, because we're going to have to get started on these right away. Um, the group project assignment, what you're doing is taking a social problem and creating a PowerPoint presentation on it. Now, you don't actually have to present the PowerPoint but I want you to create the PowerPoint with the other members of your group as if you were going to present it in class. The term paper research project, you'll want to read through this as well. Uh, it tells you what we're going to be doing here uh, as far as research. Both of these, you can click here and click here, and they are downloadable files. So. Go to the Instructor tab. That's where you'll find information on me. You can also find my contact information in the syllabus. Of course, we have discussion boards. Everybody should be fairly familiar with those. Um, and you'll notice that for the most part, uh, Thursday, Sunday, or when the discussion boards, you have it, your original post posted on Thursday and then respond to at least one other student post um, on, by Sunday. And you see a 250-word uh, reflection by Thursday and by Sunday respond to a classmate with at least 150 words however go down to 15 remember see in yellow here because this is in that last week of class so the time for the session 15 discussion board is different uh, you'll need to be done by Tuesday with your original reflection and Friday with the response 
So, okay, now moving on to communication and tools. There's a few things that I would like to go over here. Um, everybody should be familiar with course messages and sending email. Send an email. You can just go down here, select users. Um, whoever you want to send it to. You highlight them, then you hit the arrow, see it moves it over. Type in a subject here, type in the body here, and hit submit. Course messages will be very similar to that um, in that you click on it. Create message is where you start there, then you click to. That gives you that little screen where we can move people over, and then the same thing here, subject and body. And then you would just hit submit, and it would send it in a message. Some of the other important communication and tools, as I mentioned, discussion boards, you can access those here as well. Um, you can access them through the discussion tab. You can access them through communication and tools. And there are links for the discussion boards in the individual class sessions. Now, this here is important, Blackboard Collaborate. You see there's a, a session scheduled here. Each week, I will do two virtual lectures accompanied by a PowerPoint covering the material in this course. Um, because we're covering two class sessions in each week, there will be two approximately hour-long lectures each week of this course. Um, if you are unable to attend, we will be holding those between 10 and 12 Central Time, 11 and 1 Eastern Time on Mondays. If you are unable to attend, don't worry about it because there will be recordings. Click on the recordings here, and then there will be recordings, and I will convert those recordings into MP4s, so you can just watch those or download those video recordings. And that way you still have access to the lectures, even if you're unable to attend in real time when I'm doing it. So, other important communication tools, we're going to be looking at journals. This is where we're going to be doing the work on the term research paper. Again, you see the description of it right here. Um, very similar to creating a message, you create a journal entry. Uh, you title it. Now, you can either type in or you can attach a file. You just hit Browse My Computer, double-click on the file you want to upload, whatever it is, and then you can post entry. You can save the entry as a draft. Um, if you select the wrong file, you can actually click Do Not Attach right here, and it won't attach it then. So, but this is where we will be, you will get my feedback on your progress throughout the, the term paper. Okay, now you can access both the wiki, because you have a wiki for your group project, see? And you can access the groups page right here as well. The only groups that will show up are ones you're enrolled in, okay? But if you actually click on this, it opens in a menu for you. Click this arrow right here. It takes you to the group home page. See the group members are listed here. I'm the only one that's enrolled right now. But all the members of your group will be enrolled here. If you send an email it will automatically go to all members of the group. If we just do this, and then you can select whoever you want to send it to. Additionally, file exchange, um, same thing as we talked about in the journal, you can upload files to share with other members of your group. Should you need to, And finally, a couple more things. You can create tasks for individual members. You create a group task, assign it to an individual member. Um, and this lets, is another way that I can monitor what's going on. And then we've got the group wiki here. Now, everybody can edit this wiki page. Once one student creates it, everybody can edit it. And it does have the instructions for the group project here as well. Okay? So, this is kind of... 
the new look at the tools that we'll be using now. One of the things that's important to know about the group project is there will be no free writing. You have seen that I have access as the instructor to all the groups. I can monitor through the wiki, through the file exchange, through the group tasks. I get to monitor how much each member is contributing. If there is a group member who does not contribute, they will get a zero for the final grade. So make sure you're communicating with the other members of your group. Very important to do. Um, because this is a project that will only be submitted once. When we go back to that home page here, you look right down here, group project, group PowerPoint project assignment. Click here to access the assignment. Only one submission per group will be allowed. All group members should agree when the group PowerPoint project is submitted as additional submissions will not be allowed. The group should select one member to go ahead and submit the group PowerPoint project. Um, it will not be each student gets to submit their project. There will only be one submission allowed. Another thing that's going to be important to do, okay, when we look at the class session folders, here's basically how they're laid out. You've got a session overview. You've got learning objectives and content. Here are the course objectives and then the learning content. You've got required learning materials, supplemental learning materials, and assignments and assessments. So you look in here. Again, it gives you links to the book. Uh, here's another link. It gives you PowerPoint. This is the same PowerPoint I'll be using uh, during the lectures I do. Of course, since this is the first session, we've got the orientation and handouts for session one, syllabus, all that kind of stuff. Down here, the reason these are all required is this is just a refresher on stuff from introduction to sociology. And then you got supplemental materials down here, just a few more supplementals in case you need a little refresher on um, the sociological imagination, the sociological perspective, or the various sociological theories. These are provided in here for you. Okay? So, and then make sure you go through all the content there before you go to assignments and assessments, which are here. Okay? And you'll see you have all these assignments and assessments that need to be completed. So... That just gives you a brief overview of the course. If you have any questions, feel free to email me with them, and I'll be more than happy to answer them.